High wear stocks, and this is our super cool 70 millimeter ducted fan FA18. We bought this plane in Exceed RC for about $140. And we're probably up to almost 200 flights on this airplane. This is the funnest airplane that we have to fly. It's just amazing to see it up there flying like an angel. It's just amazing to see this airplane in the sky. It's just so cool. And it's even cooler to land this airplane. Wow, is that scary. The front landing gear that's on this plane, when you get it, you're lucky if it lasts you one flight. It's just gonna pop right off. So you're gonna have to build some kind of landing gear like this one. We built this from material from Lowe's. And this landing gear has worked really good for us. It's a collapsible landing gear system that's spring loaded. So when you crash or land, the wheel's gonna bend back and then snap up when you take it. You think that when you come down and hit hard, the landing gear will just spray backwards, but it doesn't. And here's the reason why. As you see, the landing gear here is angled forward, so we did that on purpose. This is a scaled up model of the landing gear, and it sees it's angled up as well. What happens when you come in and hit the ground? What happens when you come in and hit the ground? When the plane hits, there's two main force components on the landing gear. There's a, downward, there's a downward force vector and a backwards force vector. So there's a downward force vector and there's a backwards force vector. We have the two vectors here and depending on how hard you hit or what you hit, they're bigger or smaller. In order for the wheel to flip backwards, it needs to twist the plane up. You see when it's in the middle right here, the plane is up and then it goes down. So when you're la so for head being good to go backwards, just needs to lift the plane up just so little. But the force vectors are pushing the plane down. Here's a bigger and more visible model of it, but as you can see, it still lifts it up. This is a bigger and more visible model on it, but as you can see, it still lifts the plane up. And you're coming in for a hard landing and the wheel hits something and wants to trip backwards, it has to lift the plane up. So at the same time, you have the force vectors hitting the surface. Because of this, this landing gear works great. It collapses when you hit something really hard, yet stays up front when you don't. So it just turned out to be a great design for this jet. So here's an example of when we hit something and the landing gear didn't collapse. And here's an example of when we hit hard and the landing gear did collapse. So this is a pretty like great landing gear up front and it collapses when it needs to and doesn't when it doesn't. Go find build your own retractable landing gear and have fun, where's it off?